Today was the um, the um, wicked problem. This area is a classic wicked problem in that you've got um, many different stakeholders that are involved with this area, and they've all got conflicting motivations. A, a wicked problem, is something that's got a, a, a series of criteria that it sort of you know it has no clear solution. It's got many solutions, and often those solutions conflict with each other. I think people assume that criticism of Redfern as this sort of you know, it's just full of rat bags and so on. There is a really strong community here. People like the idea that they're living on a frontier or whatever. And I'm sure what part of the tour of beauty that you're doing has been to understand that there is something going on here. It isn't some sort of wasteland waiting for Mervac to take it over. Here you're seeing something which will be very nasty. It is gentrification, it is destruction of an inner city area. Because one of the things that the Redfern Waterloo Authority Act um, wipes, despite the fact that this whole area here is a conservation area, heritage conservation area, is that Frank Sartor can push aside any heritage legislation if he deems it to be a state significant site. The hard work and ingenuity of uh, our own people, we've acquired the land. It's a $44 million 